That's not recording, is it? Shadecraft is uh, why we're at CES, so thank you very much, Shadecraft. Now, this is their sunflower. Do you, guys, you guys can see what that is. It's a robotic shade. Check it out, an autonomous robotic shade. Let me tell you how this is going to work. So you have solar panels on the top, and that's how it gets powered. It doesn't have to be plugged in. It just always works. And then it follows the sun to keep you in the shade at all times. Now, that's not all it does. It also has built-in, like, security cameras. So if someone climbs the fence, or if you're, you know, at work and your kids are in the pool, you can just pop on the security camera and be like, oh, cool, they're playing. Wait a minute, what's happening over there? There's someone climbing in the bushes. So the last place they're going to think to look is this. Now, I mentioned that this is autonomous. Uh, it uses some artificial intelligence to track the sun, but you also have uh, a Wi-Fi app, and I believe it also has Bluetooth as well. So you'll be able to control it from your smart device if you wanted to maybe maybe open it up and get some sun for a while. You can do that. A lot of the world is in a sunny environment, so you've got that. Street cafes and like, you know, just beachfront lounges and all that kind of stuff. Imagine a world where you walk around in a very cyberpunk looking world, you know, where there's lots of lights and stuff everywhere, and then you have these all over the street cafes. There's these robotic, you know, arms with the shade. It's kind of an interesting look. But remember, there's going to be security cameras everywhere, too, so that'll keep the shopkeeper safe. If you guys are worried about privacy, think about that. So, some interesting stuff here. And one of the world's first fully autonomous robotic shades for the outdoors. So that's what we found here at Shadecraft, the sunflower. All right, we're doing the Zotac information overload right now. Right over here is what you need to see. This is the new Zotac external graphics dock. And I know right now what you're saying, you're already thinking in your head, hey, NVIDIA's got like desktop GPUs in their laptops. Why, why are we doing this? I'll tell you why we're doing this. There's a lot of you guys with, you know, living room PCs, Z-Boxes and that sort of thing. So we have the uh, Z-Box here. This is the Z-Box uh, MI549 Nano. It's got everything. I mean, freaking everything. USB 3.1, Type-C. Um, it's an i5 dual core and just, it's an absurd amount of outputs. Two, two gig Ethernet, HDMI. I mean, you can run tons of displays off this thing, but got Thunderbolt. And that goes over here to this external graphics card dock. So now with your little living room PC or wherever you're going to be using this, you can go ahead and add this on. And, you know, it'd be cool if they had a little handle on top of there. They could take it from place to place if you had multiple Z-boxes, but I don't think that's a very realistic use case scenario for most people. 99% of the people are only going to have one of these. So anyway, this is what we have here, 400 watts. Um, and it already has, you know, a few different things. It's, it's not just going to give you graphics. They're also going to give you some uh, USB 3. So we got a few of those with quick charge. Um, and you'll also be able to power your external devices with this. You'll be able to plug them in here. So, sort of an interesting idea. And what, now, what they want, they want some feedback. Do you, what do you guys want here? This one is, is large enough for a 13 inch graphics card, and that's going to be big enough for the biggest you know, GTX 1080 that they make. It's also big enough for a triple slot card. Got the PCB there, but what else do you guys want? There's a lot of space here in the front. They might put a fan in there. Again, this is a prototype that's painted white. They, they, they wanted it to be gunmetal gray, but like I said, you guys are seeing the prototype. So let them know in the comments uh, exactly what you'd like to see. More ports in the front, you know, like maybe a two and a half inch bay or two. That'd be kind of cool. Expansion. Let them know. All right, now these have been out for a little while, guys, but um, this is the Zobox Ian Zobox. So this is the Zotac Zbox Magnus Ian 1060 and 1070. Yeah, you can get a 1060 and a 1070 in there, and that's a um, going to be a full size desktop part, even though it's the smaller. That is ridiculously small. Now those have been out, like I said, for a while. And then the 1080 ones right over here. It's a little bit bigger, but I wanted to give you guys a look at these. I just I, the thing I like about what Zotac's doing with these is they're not skimping out. You're getting something this small, but you're getting a ridiculous number of ports. So, I mean, just USB Type 3.1C, USB 3, Thunderbolts on a lot of these things. I mean, just. If you look at their specs, you're going to be like, how the hell do they fit that many ports onto some of these small things? So, really like what Zotac's doing with their Z-Box line. How about another mini GPU from Zotac? Now, this one is going to be quite special. It is 8.3 inches, possibly slightly big for a mini. Not until you realize that it's a 1080. So, that right there is a 1080. Five copper heat five pipes, five plus one on those power phases. And let's just take a look at the back. You notice there's two different size fans here. Uh, this one's going to be uh, doing the airflow. This one over here, this is for static pressure. That is some beautifulness right there. I uh, see a couple other graphics cards. You guys can see the entire line of mini products right here. So one of the main selling points of this guy is this is the smallest, as in short, as 1080 in the world right there. You guys are looking at it. Speaking of the muted tones here, this is the Zotac 10th anniversary 1080. The power faces on this are absolutely ridiculous. Dual BIOS. Um, and as you can see here, this is a watered block. 
It's made by Thermaltake, but it's designed by Zotac. Two, um, I guess, two spots there for you to run your, your, your pipes and everything. But notice that the, the position right here, up here instead of there, and just the way that they're running the, the tubes go through, it's going to be better for SLI. So if you want to get really extreme, you can do that here. I'll show you the back. No more uh, crazy yellow aesthetic. They still have that in some of their other cards, but this one's just more professional. And then two of the uh, power boost modules right there for the clean power going to the uh, GPU. You guys saw this backpack at Computex? This is the finished version with the 1070 inside. Oh, it's got its own theme song. It's just me singing, actually. So um, Boo's going to teach us how to take off this because you can also use it as a desktop. It's got an i7-1070. It's loaded. You just simply remove that, turn that, and slide and lift. Look at that. Now it's a desktop. Decently lightweight. Now you have two batteries, one on each side, and the cool thing about the batteries is that they're hot swappable. You get about two hours of battery life, but you can always get a couple more batteries and have them charging like all the time. So you just pop the battery off, put it back on. So it'll also improve your shoulder strength. That's very important because all you guys are sitting all day, this is a new world for you. They're streaming it right now uh, with this HDMI streamer to the television. So all that on there. And of course, since it's Zotac, they've got an awesome number of ports on the side of this thing. You just They load up everything with tons of ports. So thanks very much, Zotac, for doing that. And you will have to uh, do this at the office and we'll all be slamming into each other. Ayusha's playing. And this is Shadow Warrior 2. And all over the wall, we are covered in color from Project Ariana. It's really making the entire room an immersive immersive gaming experience. Now, this has to be implemented into the game. So what they're taking is like, you know, they're putting, I guess, the focus in the center. This device up here looks at it and says, okay, you've got your monitor or your TV or whatever device right there in the middle. So I'm gonna calibrate to make sure that I'm only projecting above and beyond that. And then the developers of Shadow Warrior 2 were like, okay, give us a week. And then a week later, they were able to create the code and it acts as your eye acts. You focus in the middle on the screen and then all of the rest is sort of bent and blurred, but you're just getting a beautiful, immersive, full room color environment. So that's what Project Ariana is all about. And uh, I think it should be coming out maybe by the end of the year. So uh, get your living rooms ready for one of these guys. It looks pretty cool. All right, one last thing to look at here at Razor's booth. That's three monitors on a laptop. Now this is not a production model just yet, but it might be, who knows? They have an automatic deployment method for those uh, screens. Each one of those is 4K, so it's a 4K, 12K razor blade that's ridiculous. I imagine the uh, battery life on this will be uh, something we'll need to play with and test, but you'll probably want to be plugging this in. So anyway, right now, let them know what you think on the back here, see how, the, how they slide out. And then also we have these two little wings here that have the uh, chroma lighting and also the um, just a little bit of ventilation. Logo in the middle there, pretty crazy.